From the Center for Advanced Study of Collective Behavior, I am Clement Spechinger. Our paper on group formation and cohesion of active particles is published in this week's issue of Science. Well, in our paper, we wanted to try to understand what are the minimal conditions to make animals like fish or birds or insects stay together in a swarm. So in physics, in order to make an assembly of particles, normally you need some attraction. But if you look into the sky, for example, birds are obviously able to organize in, in swarms and flocks without physical uh, attractions. And the question is why? And the answer to that is that there are more complex interaction rules. And one of them, which is based on vision, is exactly the content of our paper. The first thing we did, of course, we simplified a lot of things. We don't want to deal with fish or birds. Uh, we want to have much better control. And what we did is we were using tiny glass spheres, which are kept on one side with a thin layer of carbon. And if you put those spheres in a liquid and shine laser light on them, they start to propel in a very similar fashion as bacteria would do. This light-induced propulsion mechanism has been developed in our own group. Uh, and the main challenge here is that you have to hit the particle with sub-micron position straight in the middle with a small laser beam. In fact, this is a true technical challenge. And when we thought about it about three years ago, we had no clue if it would work and where it would actually lead us to. When we, when we for the first time, saw how simple a rule can make such a, a strong and a robust cohesion, we were truly uh, surprised about that. We were able to show that the formation of stable groups requires only a few skills. You need to see your peers and you have to adjust your speed accordingly. That's it. Of course, you never know when you look into the sky what is relevant. And I think from, from, from a biological point of view, um, you cannot simply say you reduce the complexity of a bird, but we can more or less abstract it to a very clean, almost ideal state, and then can, from a bottom-up approach, make it a little bit more complicated, and it turns out that to make it only a tiny little bit more complicated, voila, you are at, at, at swarming. 